Hi Minecrafters, it's Sassy Shortcake here and as you can see I'm here standing in front of the casita. Today I am still continuing continuing on with that Encanto theme and I want to build a giant Mirabelle statue. So I've built a few platforms out here and depending on how this goes I might do the other characters as well. So here are my materials. I've got plum, tan, black, blue, peacock blue, Red, bright, green, bright, lemon, dark, violet, very dark, turquoise, tangerine, medium, turquoise, light, apple blossom, soul soil, brown wool, white wool, and there's moss green. So I'm using the cross stitch colors pack. But you can use, just try and color match whatever you can with concretes if you don't have this mod installed. So first we're going to do a full row of plum. So this is eight across. Now we want to switch to our tan. One tan, two black, two tan, two black, and one more tan. Then we are going to switch back to our black. One black, two tan, two black, two tan and one black. So these are her sandals we're building here. Now we just want to do a whole row of eight in the tan color. Now we want to switch to our um, dark blue and we're going to do one dark blue, one plum, two dark blue, one plum, two dark blue and one more plum like this. Now switch over to your peacock blue and we're going to start by putting one and then we'll do red and then fill the rest of the row with that peacock blue. Oops, just straight across like that. Now come back up here and we're going to take our red, our yellow, red and then fill the row with the peacock blue again. Okay, so now we're going to take one of our lime green or bright green as I'm using. Then we'll place one red or this pinky color. And then we will place one purple or violet. Now we'll fill that rest of that row with the peacock blue again. Now I just need to switch over my colors and I'll be using the turquoise next. So we'll take that just regular turquoise. Then we'll place a purple here again or violet then a, a yellow then another violet and then fill the row with your turquoise now I'll come back over here and we need to place a tangerine or orange then we want to go in with our turquoise violet and then fill the rest of the row with turquoise now come back he up here place one turquoise one bright green and then fill the row with turquoise. Now that's three rows of turquoise, so we'll be switching over to our light turquoise next. So we'll place our yellow, our tangerine, and then our light turquoise for the rest of the row here. Then we need to come up here and just place another tangerine. Then we go in with that plum color, another tangerine, and fill the row with turquoise, light turquoise. Now come up here, Place one light turquoise, one violet, and then fill the row with the light turquoise. So that's all for the turquoise for now. So we're going to switch to our white color or apple blossom. I'll call it white from here on out though. So place one violet, one white, one violet, and fill the row with white. Now we're going to do a white, then a violet, and then fill the row with white. Oh, I missed one here. Just fill that in. Sorry, it's meant to go all the way across. Now go violet, and then we'll go white again, and fill the row. Now we're going to place white, two white, then we'll go four black, and then we'll go two white again. Now we're going to go two black, then four white, 
and then two black again. So right now we're working on Mirabelle's shirt. So now we're going, going to go three white, then two tan, and then three white again. Next it's two white, four tan, and two white. Now we've got basically her body, her legs, her torso. So we need to work on her arms and her head. And this is all just flat now. So we're going to build it out as well. So we come up to this top left hand side and we're going to place one white. And then we will place one of this, the red, then one black. So we're building these out as three and we want to come up here and we're just going to place a piece of red on either side of those blocks. Now we are going to take our black, do two black, one white. Underneath that we'll go two white and one black. Then we'll go two black and then from there we're going to be using our tan. And these are her arms. We're going to move tan all the way down to the bottom or the top of her skirt kind of to the turquoise color. So one row here, two rows, three rows, four rows of tan. So now we've got her arm looking like this. That's four rows and it's eight rows in total. Now we want to, so that's a butterfly shape up there. We want to come around and do the same on the other side. So from this skirt, we'll go out by three, another three, another three. And then we need to, we're just copying the same as what we've got on the other side. So one tan, two black, two white, one black, then two black, oops, one white, and then two white, one black. Oh, I just placed an extra white. One black there. <laughs> so we don't do the butterfly on that side because it's only on one side. So here we have what we've got so far. Now we need to build it out into a statue. So we need to come back by three with our plum and we're going to go all the way around. So eight across and then another two there. Now we're going to take to tan and we're going to put those on either side here and here. Then we're going to do two black and we're going to do two rows here. So we will do two whole rows along the back of black and fill in the other row on top of the tan on the side. So right here. Now we're going to take our tan and we're doing a whole row of tan just like on the front. We're basically matching kind of what's on the front now. So we want to take our dark blue do two, then one plum, then two dark blue, then one plum, then two dark blue, and just continue this pattern until you get around to the side. So two more and a plum. Now for the rest, we're basically just going to do with the solid colors. So we're going to use our peacock blue first, and we're doing three complete rows all the way around. So those are on the sides and on the backs. And we're going to do the same with the other colors. So we're going to switch to our turquoise and we're going to do three rows. And then we'll do the same with our light turquoise, except for our light turquoise, we're only going to do two rows because we've got the hands that are in the way of the third row. So let's fi finish off this, our third row, and switch to our light turquoise. So we need to just do the two here. Then we need to build out her hands and we're just going to kind of copy what's on the front for the hands and for the torso shirt. So we'll take this back by, take it back by two or by three? We need to take it back by three and then bring it over to the right just to reach where the body is. And we're going to do like we did before, the same as on the front. Oh, that's not that. We need to match the front. So we put two black here and we're going to fill this row with black. Now we need to switch to our white or our apple blossom and we're going to do the same. Now switch back to our black. 
like this. Put some there on the shoulder. Now we switch back to our white. And we just need to fill in this top middle bit as well, just in here. Now for our torso, we're basically matching what's on the front again. We are going to do the neck because it's going to be kind of like the back of the neck. So just like that and we'll go, whoops, <laughs> we won't do that. We'll do it like that, just the two there. Now we're going to switch and just do the same pattern that we've got on the front. So three there, four there. Now switch to our black and our black here. Now switch back to, our, oh, I'll just pull this out actually, because this is the arm. We haven't finished this arm yet. So we want to finish this arm. So just do the three black, then the three white, fill in this black. And we're going to add a bit more to the butterfly here as well. So we want to fill in the white of our shirt here. These two blocks, these two blocks, these two, and then just this one. And then we're going to make a bit more, the butterfly a bit bigger. So take our red again and just go like that. Now we're going to finish off the arm and then the torso. So two here and two black. We're just going to match basically. That's what I'm doing right now, matching the front to the back. So four white. Now we're going to take two white and then do four black. So oh, in there, two white. And then we'll put our two white there. Oh. What am I doing? I just filled the whole row. I need to get rid of those. They're meant to be black. We're going to do our four black here and then we'll do the black next here. One, two, and then our tan instead of. So we're going to bring the tan back from the front there, pull it back here, 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 down here, and down here. And we're going to move this up and then the right arm is complete or the left arm, depending on how you're looking at it. <laughs> it's Mirabelle's right. Okay, now let's fill this white in here. And basically the whole rest is just filled with white. Oops. All the way to meet the other arm. So here's her back. This is how it's looking. Oh, we just take our tan and fill in. We didn't do this bit here. Just the four pieces there. So there's Mirabelle's back. Now we're gonna go back around to the front and complete her head. So we'll be using our tan, our moss green, our white wool, our brown wool, our light green, and our soul soil. Or oh, bright green, sorry, it's called. <laughs> now we wanna come here and it's an eight by eight cube for the head. So we're gonna start right next to the butterfly here. And we're going to take that out by three. So two rows here and the one that's on the body. And that's going eight across. So it needs to be eight along. Now one more there. And we're just going to make this pattern with the tan. So we've got one, three, two, when you look at it like that. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. So two there, three there, and one at the front. And this is just kind of her, her face, the side of her face. Now we want to take our moss green and do two. Then we'll take our tan and go four. Then our moss green, two more. Now we'll go up and we will do our wool. We're going to take our brown wool and we'll place two going vertically. Then our white wool will go two vertically. Then our moss green again two vertically again. <laughs> now we will just want to do two horizontally of our lime green, two vertically of our moss green, two of our brown and two of our white. And then finish the edge with two of our moss green. We'll put two on top there, two on top there and two here to build Mirabelle's glasses. Now we need to fill this in with our tan. So we'll just place two there and four there. Now we need to come to the back here and we're going to take our soul soil. And this is what I've chosen for Mirabelle's hair. I like how it looks, it looks really textured. So I think that's good. So we wanna go up by three here 
and go all the way across. So this is a row of eight and then up by three. And we're just going to fill this in all the way. Do I need, I'm just figuring out, do I need tan or do I need hair here? I'm going to fill this in with tan and then I'm going to adjust the hair. So I'm going to build out her hair a bit to make it a bit more textured and try and give her a bit more of a hairstyle. Now we want to come to the back here and we need to put in some more soul soil to finish off her hair. And we also need to give her some ears and finish her glasses. So we're going to do two rows back here. And these are coming out by one, two, three, four, five. And then we join them in. So that's on each side will be five back and then all the way across. And I'm going to do that again for another. This needs to go up by eight. So it's eight in total. So I'm just going to make this cube shape now. And then we'll finish off filling it in with the soul soil and we'll give her an ear and finish her glasses too. So let's just fill, fill this in. So it, it makes it a bit easier once we kind of build that shape out. So another row there, another row here. And here is where we will put two and then fill that in with three and then just put one here because now this is where Mirabelle's ear goes. So two tan and one down, just like that. Now let's finish off with our soul soil. Now we can take this all the way. The whole back side is just this soul soil. It's completely brown for her hair. I really love how this kind of gives that curly textured effect. It actually kind of looks like hair. So I'm, I'm just going to let you leave it quite cubey. Now we're going to do the two there. Finish that row and then our ear kind of goes like this here. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's too close. We need two more extra pieces of soul soil and our, this is where our ear goes. One, two, three, just like that. Now we can just fill the rest of this in with the soul soil. Then we complete her glasses and we will just add a bit more texture to her hair as well. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. <laughs> there we go. So let's take our moss green and we're going to come here behind that one cube like that. So we're going to go four along and then one down kind of. So from here, one, two, three, four and over the back of her ear like that. Now we're just going to take our soul soil and I'm going to try and give her her curl that kind of hangs down like that. Uh, a bit more here and I will just go around the edge as well. And just add a bit here and there. And just as I go, I'll kind of just make my choices <laughs> where I'm putting it. So we'll build some up like that. Uh, we still need to fill in the whole middle as well. So let's, let's go ahead and do that now. We'll build it up a bit higher. From here, like this. And we won't build it right to the very edges. We'll leave that row like that. So we're not going on top of the row we've already built. Now I'll just add a bit more hair. We want to put some like this. We're just trying to give her a bit more volume here so it doesn't look quite so blocky. I'm going to leave the back exactly as it is. But here I'm going to put kind of a curl hanging down like that. And I think that'll do for now. Actually, I will just add her hair face is looking a bit square. So I'm going to add one more there. So there you have it. That is how you build Mirabelle. If you want to see more buildings like this uh, and some of the other characters, please let me know in the comments. And please like and subscribe to Boss Family Plays if you enjoyed this video. Okay, bye.